From the very beginning, Democrats, the media, and the World Health Organization got coronavirus wrong. The World Health Organization said, authorities have found no clear evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. Overall, most people should not be terribly concerned about it. Everything's fine here. We do want to say to people, come to Chinatown. Here we are. Come join us. We don't even think it's going to be as bad as it was in other countries. Go about your lives. Go about your business. One leader took decisive action to save lives. President Donald Trump banning travel from China and coronavirus epicenters. Biden charged xenophobia. But President Trump was right, signing the CARES Act, providing immediate relief to American families, workers, and businesses, declaring a national emergency, tapping into $42 billion in existing emergency funding, quickly getting crucial personal protective equipment to the states, signing the Families First Coronavirus Response Act, ensuring that American families and businesses impacted by the virus receive the strong support they need, launching Operation Warp Speed to fast track a vaccine in record time. He said everything that I could have hoped for, promise made, promise kept. He is ready, willing, and able to help. He has been responsive. He's done a lot of good things. What the federal government did was a phenomenal accomplishment. In our hour of need, you all literally are helping us in a big way. We were at the edge, and this is life or death stuff, and we're forever thankful for that. Soon, we will emerge safer, stronger, and greater than ever. Dr. G. E. Golly, an oral and maxillofacial surgeon and chancellor of a large academic medical and research center in Louisiana. I feel uniquely positioned to share how President Trump's decisive leadership led to a rapid and efficient response to the coronavirus pandemic. I know this as a health professional and as someone who has recovered from COVID himself. The COVID-19 pandemic exploded into our great nation with an intensity unparalleled in history. But our medical investigation and drug development systems were not designed for a pandemic. The devastating effects of the coronavirus demanded immediate changes at the regulatory level. A prompt response led by President Trump cleared away the red tape that usually makes drug approvals a long and drawn out process. By harnessing the resources of the federal government in the private sector, President Trump's Operation Warp Speed is accelerating the testing, supply, development, and distribution of therapeutics, diagnostics, and very shortly, effective vaccines to counter COVID-19. Let me give you three clear examples of how President Trump's leadership removed regulatory barriers so COVID patients could have faster access to effective therapies and diagnostics. First, on February 26, two phase three clinical trials studying remdesivir were initiated. Just two months later, the FDA approved remdesivir for emergency use to treat COVID-19. Normally, this is a three to five year process. The amazing speed with which this happened in a safe but efficient manner is unheard of. Second, the FDA granted expanded access to COVID-19 convalescent plasma. Within 24 hours of this approval, we were administering convalescent plasma and remdesivir to a critically ill patient, a former Army Ranger and physician. Had it not been for the rapid deployment of these medicines, this patient, who is my colleague and friend, would have surely died. And third, at the end of July, I developed a fever and cough. I reached out to our testing team and received one of the Abbott rapid tests, yet another tool quickly approved by this administration. Within 15 minutes, my test came back positive, and within four hours, I was receiving my remdesivir doses, followed by an infusion of convalescent plasma. As a physician, I've seen firsthand how these breakthroughs have saved countless lives. As a patient, 
I've benefited from the expedited therapies made possible by the swift action of this administration. President Trump truly moved mountains to save lives and he deserves credit. Thank you, President Trump, for providing timely access to critical diagnostics and therapeutics during this pandemic. Thank you, Mr. President, for your strong leadership in these challenging times. When the China virus invaded our country, we launched the greatest mobilization of American society since World War II. Patriots of every race, color, and creed rallied together to defeat the invisible enemy and save the lives of their fellow citizens. Today, our hearts overflow with appreciation for the incredible frontline workers who risk their own health and safety to keep America strong and safe. When crisis came, millions of everyday Americans rose to the challenge. In their actions, we see true greatness of the American character. We always find a way to victory. History will remember and celebrate the heroes of 2020 for as long as our great American flag waves over the land that we love. To every frontline worker, I offer the salute of a nation that is forever in your debt. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.